Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below. I post videos all the time. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hopefully you already had your morning coffee, your morning tea. Anyways, I had my morning coffee. I am feeling great and I am in the mood to talk to you guys about some of my favorite things of June and things I've been loving. I traveled to Greece this month and also Atlanta for the weekend and throughout my travels I was like wow I'm like using this a lot or I wore this a lot this month or this skincare product is bomb so you guys know I love to film these videos I honestly film them about every month and it's fun because I don't know throughout the month I literally have a list and I'll be like oh I've been using this lot lately and I'll just write it down so I don't forget at the end of the month and you know it's July now so this is kind of crazy how did June already go by like what the heck like I only have one more month and then I go back to school but I'm also excited to go back to school but I'm also like oh summer but like school but ah uh, like I love college but I love summer it's it's a constant reoccurring theme and yeah where am I going with this I really don't know before you guys ask my bodysuit I'm wearing I know it's so fun <laughs> It's from Princess Polly. Um, I'll try and have a link down below. I'm pretty sure they still sell it. It's so comfortable. It feels like a bathing suit. And I have it tucked into like these fun black pants. And it's just a vibe. And I thought I'd share that with you guys. And my earrings are from Target. They're the $6 ones. Holla at your mama. I'll have those linked down below too. Because I'm just feeling generous. I'm just feeling generous with the links today. It feels so good to sit down and film a video. It's been a couple weeks since I've sat down and filmed. Because I've been doing a lot of vlogs. And I know you guys like my vlogs. So I feel like we're chill. But... I do like just sitting down and talking about things I love, so let's do it. As mentioned before, I will have everything I talk about linked down below so you guys can easily check it out for yourselves. I'm gonna start off with this guy, my Hydro Flask. I'm a big fan of reusable water bottles, especially um, Hydro Flask. I used to be a Swell bottle user, now I moved to Hydro Flask because they fit a little bit more water, and I really just do love the straw lid. I started with a white one, and then I had a bright pink one, and then now I got this one. I love this color. Um, Remy actually like sent me a message the other day. She was like, I got this one because of you. Cause it's like a fun light blue color. And I was like, oh, I'm so honored. And I met someone at Spin yesterday that also had the same color. And I just love it. I got it at Nordstrom and I hadn't seen this color before. It's just like a nice light blue color. I bought this to Greece with me. But it just keeps me drinking water. Like the last few days I've been trying to be super hydrated. Because when you travel, you just don't drink as much water as you should. See, there's water in here right now. Haha. <laughs> So I try to drink at least two of these a day, but like the goal is always three. Like I try to like chug, like I try to fill this up at night before I go to bed and in the morning, like this morning I woke up and as soon as I, the first thing I did when I woke up, well not the first thing, but when I like stood up is I took like four big sips through the straw. I was like, you know, love this. This is the 40 ounce. They have smaller sizes and they have like a big one. This is my favorite. It's definitely big and it doesn't fit in like the car cup holder, which is kind of annoying. You have to kind of like have it float on the top, but it's awesome. It makes a loud noise though if you drop it, which is never fun. Next up, I talked about this on last week's podcast episode. If you guys don't know, I have a podcast called Gals on the Go, available on Spotify, iTunes, and the Podcast One app with Brooke Michio. And we talk about just different topics each week and we always do a current favorite section. I always have a link down below to the podcast as well. But in the current favorites portion, I talked about these shorts because I have been wearing them every day, literally. These are the Lululemon, I believe the tracker shorts. I'll have them linked down below. They have different um, lengths. These are kind of the shorter ones and then I have the longer ones too. I love them. I love the waistband. It's a really thick waistband and it's so comfortable. The material's awesome. And I used to always wear like Nike shorts. If you guys go to like college in the South, I feel like it's a vibe where you like, it's a vibe, shut up Danielle. I feel like it's a thing to wear just big t-shirts, you know, and shorts. And for the longest time I'd wear like my big t-shirt to class and Nike shorts. And Nike shorts are just not V flattering on me. I don't know why. And I just don't love them as much. Like I still own a ton of pairs and like I wear them, but I prefer to wear these. These are just a little bit more expensive because they are Lululemon, but they're so flattering on my legs. Like I don't love wearing shorts and I love wearing these. I wore them all like on every travel day in Greece. I would wear them on the ferry and stuff like that. They're just super comfortable and I just feel good in them, which is important. I have been reading lately. Yes, you heard that right. My friends and I were talking about this the other day. Like we used to be obsessed with reading. Like I used to be obsessed, especially with like the Magic Treehouse books. And I'd be like, are you on number 38 yet? Like my friends and I would race to get to the next Magic Treehouse book. Do you guys remember that? I was such a reader. I would read like a book a week in the beginning of summers each year. I would go to Barnes and Noble and like beg my mom to buy me um, like a couple books. I think one year I bought like six books, like all those like fun summer teen books, you know, like summer love and stuff like that. 
um, and I read like six in one summer, which now it's like, you're lucky if you finish one. Like, I hope I finish this. Um, so I started this in Greece. Brooke actually gave it to me because she had already read it, and it was great, and I really, really enjoy it. It's a light read. This is called When Life Gives You Lululemon, so I thought that was on brand with the Lululemon shorts. Basically, it says, Welcome to Greenwich, Connecticut, where the lawns and the women are perfectly manicured, the Tito's and sodas are extra strong, and everyone has something to say about the infamous new neighbor. Let's be clear. Emily Charlton does not do the suburbs. After leaving Miranda Priestley, Devil Wears Prada. She's been working in Hollywood as an image consultant to the stars, but recently Emily has lost a few clients. She's hopeless with social media. The new guard is nipping at her heels. She needs a big opportunity and she needs it now. And then they go through a couple other characters. It basically follows along like three women, I believe. And it's so, it's so light. It's very surface level. It's not like this deep intellectual book, but it's just like a fun summer read. And they all like connect somehow and there's all these like scandals. It's kind of like Gossip Girl vibes, honestly. Um, I'm not saying again, like this is some intellectual thing you'll learn from. However, it is really entertaining when you're just laying on the beach or by the pool or like I'll read it before bed. I just really like it. I'm, I'm on page 123 I remember so you know like this way full through the book. I don't know. I suggest it if you're into stuff like that. Speaking of laying by the pool I never would have thought I'd put a sunscreen in a YouTube video because I'm just like sunscreen sunscreen but guys this sunscreen oh, I feel so OG YouTube right now doing this behind my hand. This sunscreen is absolutely amazing. I got it in like a travel set from Sephora um, that had like a ton of little, little minis. Um, this is amazing. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Um, and I, I can't even tell you guys how awesome this is. I always make sure to put on face sunscreen when I go to the pool or the beach. I, I know you're supposed to like wear it every day. I can't say I put this on every day, but this is something I would wear every day because, because my CC cream I wear every day has SPF in it, so I feel like it's fine, I don't really know. Um, this, okay, I, I wanna show you guys, but I don't wanna waste it because it's so small, but when it comes out, fine, I'll show you guys a little bit just because you need to see how awesome this is. It comes out clear. Can you guys see this? My hands are shaking because coffee. It comes out clear, and when you rub it on your hands, it literally is like, it feels like one of those Smashbox, like, mattifying primers. Like, it doesn't come out white. It's this amazing consistency. It literally has a blurring effect on your face. So, like, sometimes, like, the other day, Delaney and I went to the pool when I was visiting her, and I wasn't wearing makeup, but I just put this on because I wanted my son to be, my, my son, my face to be protected from the sun. And it also kind of just, like, gave my face this, like, blurring, like, smooth look. So... And it smells good. So I'm a very, very, very big fan of it. I highly suggest it if you're on the market for a face sunscreen. Um, it's awesome. I, it's, I got it at Sephora. Duh, I just dropped it. I always drop something. But yeah, definitely check this out. Super goop. I I understand the hype now. I get it. Along the lines of skincare, I've been loving this moisturizer. I love anything Sunday Riley. Honestly, this is the Sunday Riley um, Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. I mean, that just sounds awesome. It's just like a lightweight, it's oil-free gel cream moisturizer. Um, and it instantly makes my face super glowy. It smells good. I, it's just basically a big jar moisturizer and I put it on at night and in the morning before my makeup and it, you can instantly, your skin just soaks it in and it's just like, ah, like your skin just is so happy with you for putting it on. It's definitely a little bit pricey. I think they do have a mini size as well. I'll have a link down below if you guys check it out, but I love this guy. When I do lay out by the pool or on the beach or just on days that I don't want to show my hair, I wear hats. I've been loving this hat lately. I've been wearing it in vlogs. Um, these are like the Aviate hats or Aviate hats. I don't really know how you pronounce it, but they it's a brand of hats and it's, that's not only that brand, like other brands make it as well, where they are airport like code names on hats. So this is the TPA one for Tampa. I also have an ATH one for Athens, Georgia, because <laughs> um, there is like a mini airport. Brooke actually got that one for me. Um, but I know a lot of my friends have ATL ones. Um, but yeah, I love this one. I got it actually at, um, what's that store called? Uh, Altered State. Altered State. That's what it is. I got this hat at Altered State. Oh, this is actually Altered State brand. Um, so it's a TPA hat. Your local Altered State may have your local airport. So I don't know. I just think it's super cool and it's very personal and like I'll wear it and people will be like, oh, are you from Tampa? And I'm like, yeah. So whatever. So yeah, I really, really like this one. You should definitely get one for your local airport or like if you go to LA, get like an LAX one. I feel like that's so fun. These are like the first pair of aviators that I got from Ray-Ban um, and I just started wearing them again because they're just such a classic. So I thought I'd show them to you guys. These are the simple Ray-Ban aviators um, with like the dark green lenses and the gold frame. I forgot how much I love these. I usually would just wear like my, like every day I would just wear like the black, like the all black ones from Ray-Ban. 
but I actually broke those in Greece. They fell off the table and just cracked. They were so old, so whatever. I might have to buy a new pair of those because I love them. But I do like these because I only wear gold for the most part anyway, so they go with everything. And they're just very like, I don't know, snazzy, but just like a classic piece. So I really, 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 really like these. I've had them for so long. A lot of you guys probably already have this pair. Um, obviously, you don't need to get the Ray-Ban one. I just like the color of the frames and the lenses. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing these like every day. Every day we lit. Hey, yeah, da, 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 da. Hey. All right, next up, I love these so much. I'm so happy I got them. These are Sony headphones, and I'm usually more of a Beats girl, but I've officially transformed to the Sony side. Um, so as you guys know, or if you don't know, I did a sponsored video with Best Buy, which was like the coolest thing ever, because I mean, I go to Best Buy all the time. That's like where you get your tech stuff. Um, so when they wanted to work with me, I kind of freaked out. And one of the things that they suggested I check out were these headphones and at first I was like, oh, I'm not sure, you know, I, I I love my beats and then I got them and they're just so much better. Like these are the Sony, I will have the exact link down below, but these are like the Sony WXHMMO or something um, headphones and they're, you know, they're not like the cutest thing in the world, but they're sleek, they're black. They've got like rose gold, like brass detailing. I love them. They're wireless, but I also have these because I plug them into my computer sometimes or like if I'm on planes, I'll plug it in to watch a movie. Guys, these are awesome. Like I can't, I like, f so there's an app that connects to them. So I was listening to sicko mode. That's what it was. And on the app, on the connect app that they tell you about when you get the headphones, there are sound settings for the headphones. So there's like a club sound setting where it like has it more like bass boosted, which is sick if you're listening to like something like sicko mode or um, there's like a concert hall. So if I'm listening to country, sometimes I'll change it to concert hall. It feels like you're, or like outdoor stage is one or like, oh, there's so many different settings and it seriously changes. And these seriously don't bleed. Like they say beats don't bleed, but they do. And why, by that, I mean like if the person is sitting next to you, they cannot hear what you were listening to. I tested it out with my dad. Like if you blast it, the person next to you can't hear it. Cause that is so nice. Cause sometimes I get so self-conscious, I'm like, one, I don't want them to judge me for what I'm listening to, but two, I don't want to bother them. And like, if they're napping next to me on the plane, like I don't want my music blaring to their ears. And you also, it is so noise canceling. I can't even, I can't even. Um, there's actually a noise canceling ambient button that kind of like puts like out this like, not like white noise, but I don't want to explain it. Um, but these are just awesome. Then I have two pairs of shoes. These I just got, I am like, I'm laughing at myself cause these are so random, but I love them. So I was looking for some flat forms that I can wear kind of all day that are sandals, but just do give me a little height. I didn't want wedges though. I wanted them to be flat forms cause I liked the color. I liked the shape. I liked how they were Velcro. Honestly, I think that's kind of hype. <laughs> it's kind of kiddish, but whatever. They're from some random brand and I'm not usually one to just try out random brands. I'm very like, oh, like I know that brand, like I know I like it. This is from the brand Franco Sarto. So I think the brand's just called Sarto and I highly suggest them. I think they're awesome. They're very comfortable. I think they had different colors. They're seriously a great everyday shoe. I feel like you could dress them up or down if you're like going to dinner at night or if you just wanna wear these even running errands or walking around, they're so comfortable. They just have a little bit more height, but there's no wedge, so they're not uncomfortable. You don't feel like you're wearing heels. I love these. These have become my new everyday shoe. Can't say enough good things about them. Then I had to highlight these shoes even though I bought them in Greece and I don't know where you can find them. They're these Gladiator sandals. I remember Gladiator sandals used to be a thing like a while ago, but we were in, where were we? We were in Mykonos and we were like at a club and Brooke's shoe broke, like literally broke. And then mine was just, I was just getting uncomfortable on my heels. Found this like really cool shoe store and we wanted to get a pair of like cool sandals from Greece. So I found these and I'm obsessed with them. Like I know they're super flashy. They're literally like gladiator sandals, but I love them. So they are from the brand Nico Shoes. So maybe you guys will be able to find them. I'll see if I can find them online. They are made in Greece. That's why I wanted to buy them. They're, it's spelled N-I-K-O-S, um, but a lot of you guys asked me where I got them, so I wanted to make sure I addressed it in a video. They're just so cute. They wrap around your ankle. They're just so darn flattering and comfortable. I've worn them all day. No blisters, no nothing. Like, seriously, walked the whole Atlanta belt line with these. Not the whole Atlanta belt line. I'm not gonna be dramatic, but I walked a lot in these one day and they were great. Um, so I'll see if I can find any similar ones from like Nordstrom or like a department store and I'll link them down below. But yeah, you heard it here first. 
that is everything I had to show you guys. I will have everything linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always love just talking about things I'm loving because I think it's really fun. Make sure to go follow me over on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn. I post stuff on my story all the time and I post a lot. And I feel like I respond to a good amount of comments on my photos. Like I respond to a lot of them. So you're likely to get a response from me um, on my photos and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it for you guys. And just have a, just have a great day. <laughs> Bye guys. See ya.